This is an ordinary McDonald's, and this is the first ever five-star McDonald's. Yeah. But first, let me show you how we got here. McDonald's is a gigantic mega corporation that turns 1.9 billion pounds of beef into over 23 billion dollars of annual revenue. Nothing against McDonald's, but I feel like we could do something better. What if we made our own McDonald's? We'd be that's, rich. That's a good idea, but we would have to do it right. So if we could turn McDonald's into a five-star restaurant, we could get more customers. More customers means more revenue, and more revenue means that we financially bankrupt McDonald's. So we went to the drawing board and after about 500 hours of developing a name for our business McFancy's. Oh, yeah, the big McFancy's. So we skipped the boring stuff and got right into finding our first location. Hello, is this Hades hot chicken? We were looking to rent the place <laughs> yeah. With our first location locked in it was now time to convert the restaurant So right now we are in the process of transforming this restaurant into McFancy. I can't believe in less than 12 hours We're gonna have an open restaurant. This looks amazing. You know, this is the best idea I've ever had. This is not your, this is my idea. Your idea, what are you talking about? And this is the first ever five star McDonald's. Yeah! <laughs> The restaurant is done. It looks amazing. It literally looks so good, but we still need to buy the food, hire the staff, and figure out how we're gonna make our food better than McDonald's. We should probably start doing that. We should. In order to complete our menu, we first had to gather our locally sourced ingredients from McDonald's. Then it was up to our newly hired chef, John, to turn this McDonald's food into something McFancy. What's Hi. up, boys? How's it going? Uh, you know McDonald's, obviously. Yeah. Basically, you wanna take some of the McDonald's ingredients and flip it around and make it 10 times better. All right, so how much time have I got to do this? A couple. Yeah. Couple yeah, hours. Couple hours. Give me half an hour, I'll work something out and we'll get started. Awesome, perfect. This baby here is gonna be something special. Beef and some with twists, with puff pastry and crepes and duck salad and mushrooms. This uh, is crazy. crazy. I wanna see this happen. Should we do a taste test? Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. These are really good. Cheers, Drew. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. This is, is a filet of fish. Yeah. There's even caviar on top. Look at that. La piece de resistance. This is your Big Mac. That is crazy. Look oh. at the McDonald's burger inside. Look at the side to side comparison. There you go. <laughs> That's insane. That is gourmet right there. We soaked the hash browns in milk and cream, and we made this lovely Paris mash, the red wine reduction sauce. But we Wait. made it out of that. Wait, how did that what? go to that? <laughs> like, there's no way. The Big Mac Wellington, three, two, one. <laughs> For a second, it's like tasting a Big Mac, but then it's just a bunch of flavor. And the sauce is so good. So while Chef John finished up the menu, and I made sure the restaurant looked absolutely perfect, we invited some of our friends to check out our fine establishment. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> How did you guys do this? You actually this pulled it off. Do you guys have like a license for this? Do we have a license? No, Drew, shut up. <laughs> you got a violinist? <laughs> Roses, candles, gold, silverware. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god. Red ribbons, red carpets. But what they didn't know was that they would actually be working for me at McFancy's. What? Guys, I have your uniform, so you guys are gonna go put those on. What are we doing? You two are gonna be the waitresses, and then you're gonna be one of the chefs. What? I don't know anything about cooking. This place is beautiful. Can we start eating and trying things? Well, actually, you're not a customer. You're one of the chefs. What? I thought I was coming here to, like, eat lunch. No. no we all thought that. Yeah. <laughs> what? You work here, too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before we officially do the grand opening, I want to do a little test run. So, I texted Pearson, and I asked her if she wanted to go on a date. This okay. was just an excuse for you to go on a date with Pearson. Yeah. That's we right. see what's going on here. What? What are you talking about? Stop. Okay, please, whatever you do, do not mess this up. Customer is number one, okay? These are gonna be your new chefs. We got Chef Ben and Chef Dom. Boys, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. What the hell is going on? <laughs> you like McDonald's, right? Yeah, I love McDonald's. Well, this is the first ever five-star McDonald's. Can we go inside? Yeah, please? you wanna what go inside? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. What? Caviar? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How many in your party? <laughs> Two, right this way. Some water for you guys. Oh, thank you. This is like incredible. I must say it's a little weird that every staff member is just staring at us on this. Guys, what are you doing? Get back to work. Dude, I don't even think I can afford this place. I would say our most popular uh -huh. is definitely the Big Mac Wellington. You I will, have to try it. I'll and Ben's try. not the one making that one, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get an order of the Mac fries and then I'll get the, um, the filet of fish mousseline. 
Okay, we'll be right back. All right. The waitresses are a little judgmental here. I know, right? <laughs> and they got a filet of fish. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Here we have the truffle fries. Wow. wow. Mm. Are these McDonald's fries? Yes. No way. Yeah. From McDonald's. Exactly. But we... made fancy. Exactly. Yes. That's literally genius. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. No. This is the Big Mac Wellington. No freaking way. Yes. This is made out of a Big Mac. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. What do you oh think? Oh my god. Is it good? It is so good. This is like my new favorite restaurant. I really appreciate you going on a date with me, so here you go. <laughs> the bill, sir. Oh, I will yes. just leave this here. Oh, thank Whenever you. Whenever you're ready. I'm actually not the one paying for it. It's going to be Pearson paying Sorry? for it. Sorry? What? Guys, she's not paying the bill. Brent, this is literally your restaurant. You can just pay for it, right? No. I like from personal space, guys. I'm going to make a big run for it. Wait, what? Bye. Wait. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get You're definitely not going on a second date, I'll tell you that. So it's finally time to cut the ribbon. Are you guys ready for the grand opening? Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Big fancies, big fancies, big fancies. But as the time went on, we began to realize that our business was not bringing in as many customers as we initially thought. So it's been about an hour and no one has showed up. What are we doing wrong? I mean, it takes time, right? For people to like discover a new restaurant. We don't have time. I have a great idea. What? Trust me on this, all right? Whoa, 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 I'll wait, be wait. back, trust me on this. I'll be right back, right? Girl, oh, wait. wait. What the heck is this? What is going right, on? I'm back. What's up, Brent? What is happening? We're making a commercial. And so people can see our restaurant. How'd you get Ronald McDonald? We're paying him a lot. <laughs> Action! Welcome to McFancy's, home of the Big Mac Wellington and our world famous truffle fly. Bro! Mc I this is the third time you messed up. Ronald McDonald kind of scares me. <laughs> so I have an idea. Okay, that's what good. What is that? I'm going to post the first five subscribers that show up to the restaurant get a special surprise. We're going to give the subscribers a gold McFancy Happy Meal that okay. has chicken nuggets inside and $200. We're paying for our customers to show up. Hi. 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 Hey, what's oh, going on? Hey. It's Sydney. We have some Happy Meals for you guys. You. Open it up. Um, <laughs> <you're> I'm <shaking. laughs> Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I think they're really starting to like it. Yeah. I think so too. They're gonna spread the word too. Guys, there's so many people waiting outside. Look at the line. Oh, this is crazy. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the How many people in your party uh, today? There's three today. How many people are out there? There's a lot of people. Are you serious? We don't have that much food. I don't know if we get that much food. Well, we, have to, we have to keep cooking. Start cooking. Can I start you guys off with some drinks? Can I get some ice water? Okay, we're on it. We're on it. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of people. There's like 25 people. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Well, you like some water over here. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, Liv, are we spilling? I got the water for now. <laughs> what brought you guys in to make fancy today? Was it the commercial that you guys saw? I saw such a big line and I wanted to stop by and try the food. More people. We can't handle more people. We have to. We don't have that much food. Guys, start cooking. What do they want? Go ask them what they want. Oh, <laughs> we got more people. You guys ready to order? Look at the check it out the menu. I'm thinking probably the Big Mac. Big Mac Wellington? Yeah, that, that one's popular. Perfect. All right, yeah, I'll be back with that. Are they enjoying it? I think they're really liking it. Is this better than McDonald's? No. Yeah. No! Who said no? They I did. said no. Uh-oh. So you don't like my food? Nope. That my chefs work so hard to make? You don't deserve it anyways. Oh, oh my gosh! Ronald! You're fired. You're fired. You're out of here. No, Go. this is pretty bad. Go back to McDonald's, no, Ronald. No, I can't. They have a restraining order against me. Can I keep the car? No, get out. Okay. Leave. Bye. Look at the window. Hey, get out of here. Hey, get out of here. Wait, where are you guys going? Wait, where are you guys going? Hey guys, where are you going? Burger King is so much better. What? I don't think they paid. People are leaving without paying. Wait, guys, what? Guys, we can talk about this. Wait, guys, guys, guys. I mean, nobody else is paying. I'm out. Wait, what? You guys just can't leave and not pay. Sorry. Where are you gonna go? McDonald's? Tender greens. Um, Tender greens? You're eating the nugget, the chicken nugget. I gotta go. You liked, I gotta go. You liked it. You're losing money. Everyone. You to pay somehow. Wait, no. The store's ruined. Stop. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? We're out of money, Brent. Guys, no, you we're done. We're done. Are you guys chicken nuggets? Are not a thing. Are you guys really gonna quit like this? This is just sad. We're done. We're done. Figure it out. We're, we're simply out of money. We can't keep running this place. Wait, Drew, this was your idea. Whoa, it was a crappy idea. This is so sad. All of our hard work, we're just tearing down. What we thought was gonna be our next big restaurant turned out to be our biggest failure yet. Drew, you have some bad ideas. Okay, well, this is 
My friends are gonna have to eat one colored food for an entire week. Oh my god, look at this. Oh! That's death. I don't know how you're gonna do this, Ben. That's the snail. Yo, that's a big bite. <laughs> the texture is so bad. Are you okay, Jeremy? No, I'm not. <laughs> and the one friend to go the longest eating their color wins $10,000. Yesterday, I had Ben, Pearson, and Jeremy randomly select a food dish to determine which color they will be eating for as long as they can. Oh my God. <laughs> and to make sure they don't cheat, each of them will be trapped in a room of their color. It's cute, huh? I could get used to it. I mean, I feel at home, if I'm gonna be honest. But I need some food, I need a bed, I need a pink toilet. What? Where's He's asking for so much. <laughs> There's nothing in the fridge. All right, that's actually what the first challenge is. All right, so right now, we are here at the grocery store. So you guys only have five minutes to grab any food that you can, but it has to be in your color. Hey. And you guys are gonna have to make this last the next seven days, so choose wisely. Five minutes on the timer starts now! Oh, 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 go, 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 go. Bro, I see nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing. You already know? Just brown? I'm gonna get dark chocolate. Mm. Caesar salad. Because we're healthy queens. We got a watermelon. I didn't want to do it, but I got soy sauce. Oh, I found it. Black beans. All right, Ben, how's it going so far? Not good. I'm stressed. Why? Because <laughs> nothing's black. Nothing's Dude, black. I got beans, teriyaki sauce, Oreos, and chocolate. <laughs> That's better than nothing. You found a lot of pink Dude, stuff. Dude, Jamie's doing really good. Some vitamin water, actually, a couple since you're pink. You have two minutes and 30 seconds left. Oh, time. crap. So stop right, talking right, to come. me. I probably like, have the easiest color, but I'm stressing out. How am I going to stay hydrated? I can't find any green juice. Just drink the pickle juice. Ew, Drew. <laughs> Wait, Mountain Dew. Oh. Pearson is going to be extremely hyper. Oh my god, I'm going to be off the wall. <laughs> this one thing was 50 bucks. My cart's really expensive, I'm not going to lie. I need more teriyaki sauce. I don't even care. Three teriyaki sauce. If I have to drink teriyaki sauce, I will. All right, Ben, you got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds? You know what? All this soda's black. All right, OK. All oh my black. god. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Oh yeah! You guys spent literally over a thousand dollars. Sorry. That's what food costs for three people for a week, okay? Literally, it looks like you bought the whole grocery store. I really did. <laughs> I did everything that I could see that was green. I bought it. I got Mountain Dew, a lot of chips. You got wasabi. Yeah, I'm not really excited about that one. So it looks like you have a good mix of like healthy and like yes. junk food, and yes. I think that's perfect. I got pink pop tart. I got some ham that Yo, counts as pink. This is disgusting. <laughs> salmon. Oh, pink salmon. I don't even like salmon, but I just got it. <laughs> I got real food, stuff you can actually survive with. Black. Pasta. I just found out that was a thing today. Black beans. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> you got caviar? That was probably like a hundred bucks. Oh no, it was three hundred bucks. <laughs> you don't even like caviar. It was black, Brent. I got rice. That's not black. But when you have uh, three things of teriyaki sauce and you put it on the rice, does that count? I don't. Because he does have a lot of teriyaki sauce. <laughs> not that I don't believe you guys, <laughs> but we have a security guard to make sure that you're not sneaking any other colors inside your bag. Security! But oh, wait, no, I don't think you need to do that. What? Hey, hold on. A I second. gained some weight. He's hiding something. No, I just been hitting the gym, bro. Hey, dude. Hey, oh, wait, hey, wait, hey. Wait. No, no. What? Wait, are those Twinkies? I'm gonna have to confiscate these and put these in evidence. <laughs> oh no. All right, so right now we're in the control room watching their every move on this TV screen. We will be watching 24 hours a day. I don't want you to go to sleep for the next seven days, Drew. I won't be, I've had like four Red Bulls. <laughs> I have a little surprise for you. Hey, stop. Oh, oh. What, 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 what? what? We're having a food fight. He's throwing donuts at everybody. What the? <laughs> Go! There's literally a food fight going on. Oh no! What the hell just happened? I, who started this? Freaking this guy! Hey, where's the security guard when we actually need him? Wait, from now on, there are no food fights allowed unless it's yeah. us throwing food at you. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. So it's enough. literally only day one, and you guys are ruining the place. <laughs> so we're watching the security footage, and it seems to me that they're a little bored. Yeah. What if we get all of their favorite foods that aren't in their color, Ooh. and we tempt them that way? You can like heat it up, make them smell yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. All right, let's do it. A bon appetit. Oh. 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 No, that's so messed up! I Wait. do see something green in there. There you go. My little sweet pea. There you go. How does it taste? <laughs> um, nice burger and fries. I can't eat that. I know you can. You need <laughs> some nutrition in your life. I can't have it. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, I'm making the Dude. burger black so I can eat it. Oh. Cheers. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. How is it? Great. That's so gross. I'm wearing borders on everything. Dude, that is disgusting. Hey guys, it's 9 p.m. It's getting late. Uh, Drew, you got this under control, right? I have my eyes on them like a hawk. All right, all right. I'm going to go get some sleep. I'll be back in the morning. Brad, come in. Thomas. What? All right, so I was reviewing the footage last night, right? Uh-huh. Jeremy brought a girl over. Shut up. That's what Shut up. up. No, you didn't. Yo, by the way, keep in mind that Pearson and Ben are both asleep. Oh, oh what's that? <laughs> 
<laughs> you thought it all through. How did you guys end up sleeping? Ah, oh, terrible. <laughs> and Jeremy, how was your night? Look at this. Why are you smiling like that, Jeremy? Why are you up in my business, man? There was a girl that came into this room. Hey, I gotta make the most of staying in this in this dumb room. Not when you're next to people. <laughs> I was this close to leaving because of that. Now that it's day two, we have challenge number two. This challenge is the smoothie challenge. So out of nine balloons, you guys will pop four, revealing what goes into your smoothie. All right, so Ben, you can leave your room and you will step on this red square. I oh. black olives. Oh. oh. No, I hate olives. Oh. Balsamic vinegar. Vegemite. Oh. oh. No. Black beans. You ah. Black beans. <laughs> Balsamic vinegar. Oh. Black beans. Oh. oh my. There's a Vegemite. Oh. Olives. Oh my God. Oh. That literally smells so bad. Oh. Spicy tuna. Spam. Oh Beets. Salt. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad, but I'd still rather not have it in my drink. Oh. Oh. There we go. A beet, Himalayan pink salt. Oh. Oh. Pickles. Oh. Green baby food. No. Oh, oh my. Jalapeno. Oh. oh. I hate spicy things. Seaweed. Oh. oh. I like pickles, but not in the smoothie. Oh. Yo, the baby food looks nasty. Ew. Oh. Jalapenos. Mm. Oh. Oh. Right. I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> Each of you has to take one big sip in order to move on. Uh, Who wants to do it first? I'll do it first. There's All something. right. It's over with. Oh. Oh my God, that's a big oh. sip. Oh. 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 You got it. Come on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> there is. So Nice shot, Pearson. <laughs> All right, Jeremy. I can drink the smoothie, bro. Right now, I can't. I can't do it. You, you want to get out? There's no way I'm drinking that. I'm out. Oh! No way. You are out. Mm. All right, Ben. If you don't want to end up like Jeremy, you gotta take one big goal. I'm not losing like this, Pearson. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. Swallow it. <laughs> oh. 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 You did it. You successfully. I did it. So there you have it. Two of my friends remaining, but it's only gonna get harder from here. Every five minutes, I feels like I want to throw up. They're not doing too good. <laughs> they, look, they look miserable. Look at Pearson. I feel like because of the final two, we should do something nice for them. Listen, Drew and I feel bad. You guys did two challenges already, so we want to do something nice for you guys. I don't trust you. I don't trust it either. Who wants some ice cream? Oh. I feel like there's a catch. No, no way. We're just trying to do something nice for you guys. I need real food, Brent. Oh. There you go. One black ice cream for you. <laughs> what flavor is it? It's vanilla ice cream. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Now we have green oh, ice cream. Wow. Oh, it's delicious. Yes. Take a bite. How is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> you. Got you. What did it taste like? What did it taste like? Yeah, wasabi. <laughs> oh, it's wasabi. Ew, it looks because it's wasabi flavored ice cream. Oops. <laughs> All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed your ice cream. Drew and I are probably gonna go get some Taco Bell. We'll see you guys later. What? We'll see you guys later, peace. All right, so guys, it is the middle of the night right now and Pearson and Ben are sleeping, so we're gonna prank them with a massive party. Don't get crazy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Put your hands up. <laughs> Challenge. So it is day three. Last night's party was insane. Like literally, they're still sleeping. <laughs> They've been sleeping for so long. So the plan today is we're gonna wake them up and then Drew and I are actually gonna go to Disneyland. They're gonna be stuck in their boxes while me and Brown are going on roller coasters. Exactly. How was your night, guys? How'd you guys sleep? I barely slept because of you. Ben, how was your night? <laughs> Dude, is he okay? <laughs> ben! What, Dude. what the f <laughs> Did you party too hard last night? You freaking guys party too hard. <laughs> he looked like he partied too hard. So, uh, Drew and I were thinking about it, and we want to go to Disneyland today. No, you cannot do this to me. Bye, guys. Holy. Bring me back a pretzel. Oh. Bye. Look, I'm watching them. Oh, good. Okay, okay good. I'm not doing anything suspicious. All right, good, good, good. All right, so we just got to Disneyland. Disneyland. You know, I feel like we're just rubbing it in at this point. Yo, it must suck to only eat one color. I know, like, look at all these colors. Cheers. <laughs> Hey Drew, Ben can actually eat this one. Well, it sucks that he's not here. You're right, more for me. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, we're finally 
home. I know. Disneyland was so fun. Ben, you look like you're going crazy over here. What like happens when you leave someone in a friggin' one colored room and have them eat one colored food for this long? <laughs> Lucky for him, it's time for the next challenge. They both will receive a three course meal prepared by a Michelin trained chef. And in order to move on, they'll need to successfully eat it. If it's like a chef, like you're hyping him up to be, then it'll be good, right? Yeah, sure. I'm so, Pearson, are you ready for your appetizer? Bring it on. Chef prepared something for you. Oh. In the middle is your chicken liver parfait. And we let them ferment for three weeks. Dude, that's disgusting. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Pied noir, it's a, a pig from the south of France. They take the blood from that and they make a sausage. <laughs> you are not eating that. A black blood sausage. Who wants to go first? I think Ben should go first. Fine, give me the fork. All right. There's a lot of other things that I probably would have picked. <laughs> Cheers. How is it? What, is, what does that mean? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, Pearson, you know what that means. Don't think about the three weeks the livers are fermenting. So that helps. <laughs> <laughs> this is not How is it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Wash it down with a Mountain Dew. Oh! oh <laughs> are you guys ready for the main course now? Yeah. Yeah. These little cuties. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> if you do it and something spurts out in your mouth, just relax. No, John, shut up! Yo! Hey, this sucks. This Here we go. Sucks. You got it. Sucks. Oh, my God. Yo, that's a big bite. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. Oh. How is it? <laughs> the texture is so bad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ew! It feels what you think a snail would feel like in your mouth. <laughs> Was it like pus that came out? Oh, my God. <laughs> Good job, Pearson. You just completed the main course. Yeah. She's not gonna give yeah, me a high five. Yeah, okay. right. Ben, it is time for your main course. Squid ink pasta. I think we've topped it with something very special. These are chickens from Mongolia, and they're 70 years old. When they die, their hearts are black, and you're eating black chicken heart. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, you've been here for three and a half days. Uh, Don't you want to finish this? I only know it's right gonna here. get worse too. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? No. Oh! 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 Yeah. Oh! 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 That's fair though. I don't think anyone wanted to eat that. <laughs> that means Pearson won though. Pearson, that means <laughs> that you won. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody. I would say that the snail was worth it, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. Get no, that sure. heart away from me. Take a bite to congratulate you. And Pearson, you win the $10,000. Time could have never come. There is a punishment. We invited a bunch of subscribers to come here to throw pies at you. Yeah. <laughs> ben, are you ready? No! Okay. We went to Japan and tried some of the most unique and craziest foods in the entire world. From a $2,000 melon to an alien sea snail. But make sure you stick around because in the end we try a poisonous fish that can actually kill you. We can die from this? Only if you get the most dangerous food. The first dish? Cheap! Oh, oh my god! Hey, at least I didn't get the most dangerous. Lexi, you're going yeah. next. Oh, oh my god, of course wow. she gets luxurious. I know, That's seriously. Bro, why does she have to get that? Drew, Drew you go next. You <laughs> Drew, we have. Bro, are you kidding me? Disgusting. Of course I get this and she gets luxurious. Yo, that's gonna be so bad. I know, thanks Brad. <laughs> I'm gonna go next. Okay. I'm like really nervous. Come on, chef, come on. Oh, okay. Yay! Does that mean Pearson oh, gets- expensive! Oh. Oh. Why do all the girls get the best We're ones, gonna be huh? eating so good. <laughs> so with our bellies empty and our bags in hand, we booked our tickets and flew across the Pacific Ocean to the beautiful island of Japan, where we are off to our first stop in Oda City. Lexi, you are up first. This is Katsu. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. We are outside the most expensive sushi restaurant in Japan. It got two Michelin stars. Wow. This restaurant is so exclusive, only one group can eat at a time, and you can only eat what Chef Katsu prepares. So it takes up to four months to get a reservation here, Lexi. And it was definitely worth the wait because Katsu was brewing up something else. He's tasting it. Mmm, pretty dry. Do you have? How does the rice taste? Mmm, that's so good. Pretty dry? Uh-uh, okay. just for me. Yeah. <laughs> that is the best white rice I've ever tasted oh, yeah. in my life. But he was just getting started because up next was the biggest piece of tuna we had ever seen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How much did it cost? <laughs> 306,000 yen. 2,284 US dollars. Oh my what? god. 
Lexi is a big sushi lover. But, but I'm if she, very picky. she's very picky, so I'll eat those other ones. And then I'll eat the ones that you don't eat. And then I'll eat whatever falls on the floor. <laughs> oh, what's uh, oh? Like a katana. This is not for human. This is for tuna. <laughs> tuna. Oh my god. Oh. That's so good. Yes. Oh, what a try. We're literally just being tortured here. Lexi, whatever you don't want, send it my way. I'm gonna be eating all of them. <laughs> Dude, I'm like shaking. <laughs> this is the best one. Really? Yeah. What? Wait, why does Andrew get some? I told him he looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? It's this right? one is the best one. <laughs> you said that every no. time. Why are we still here watching her eat? Can we just go? <laughs> So right now we are at Tsukiji Market and Drew, remember how you got disgusting? Mm hmm Okay, you will be eating an alien sea snail. What's an alien sea snail? What? what? Alien sea snails are best enjoyed raw. They're from Japan and they love to eat plankton. And today, Drew's gonna love to eat it. You guys may want to stand back when I eat this. It's <laughs> not gonna look good. The fact that that is what I'm eating. Look at that thing. <laughs> That looks disgusting. <laughs> He's gonna make it into sashimi, so raw. It's not cooked? No, so it's gonna be raw. I don't wanna eat it. Wow. He, you know what, he did put like a little flour, so it he made it look cute. a little better. I would rather eat the flour in the middle. Can I eat that instead? <laughs> this thing was alive like five minutes ago. Three, I'm gonna get three, you smelling it. Three, two, one, go. Yum. Oh no. Oh no. How is it? <laughs> it's hard and crunchy and then slimy. I... Oh my god, ew. <laughs> I swallowed it. It tastes, when I bit it the first time, juice like, like spit out of it. Oh my god. No, when I tried to bite it, it would like slip in between my teeth. Oh. There's nothing enjoyable about that. Anyone else want no, to give it a try? No, someone has to try. Oh no, thank you. Please. I did it for 500. So if I give you $500, you'll, you'll eat that and swallow it. Yeah. I did it for free. <laughs> Do I get money? <laughs> no. Why? All right, here we go. Mm. Chew, 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 chew. Oh. Eat it. Chew, chew, chew. Yeah. <laughs> Swimming around in your mouth right now. The parasites, the parasites, everything. <laughs> Keeping it in your mouth is not gonna help. Swallow it. Oh, I'm trying to swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my god, that? he's crying. Oh, it makes you cry. It's probably the worst thing I've ever had in my life. With respect to both of you. I don't think I could have done that. Yeah. This wasn't even my thing. What the <laughs> Next up was Pearson with the most expensive food. So Drew and I split from the group to drive to Shibuya City for our next food location. We are outside this shop that sells some of the most expensive fruits in the entire world. Some of these fruits are sold for more than $3,000. Bro, I don't even know how that's possible. I don't know either, but let's go check it out. I don't think I can afford anything in here. Look at the price tag. Oh my god. 22,000 yen. That's like 250 bucks. I don't see how that's worth it. <laughs> Orange is $100. A pineapple is $200. A lemon is $100. Pearson's so lucky, dude. She gets like a good fruit while I got freaking sea snail. <laughs> so once we had some fruit picked out for Pearson, they wrapped it up like a gift and they even put a little tag with her name on it. What is the most expensive fruit you guys have ever sold? Oh, this is the most expensive one they've ever sold, actually. We just bought the most expensive melon they've ever sold. 359,000 yen. Dude, it better be like the best thing I've ever had. Oh, yeah, if she doesn't like it, then I'm eating it. Oh, 100%. Hi. All right. Cool. I'm good. What do you think it is? At first, I was thinking like caviar, but then I felt how heavy it was. I feel like it's like meat or something, okay. something that I can't eat right now. Three, two, one. Fruit. $3,000 worth of fruit? Bro, we got these for $3 at home. Oh, that was good. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my. God. Can I please have a piece? Yes, you can have a piece. Thank goodness. Mm. Oh my god. Bro, I'm just third wheeling at this point. Next up is the orange. Orange, you glad, Pearson, that you got the most expensive foods? I'm, I'm so thrilled right now. <laughs> this little piece of orange is probably like 70 bucks. Who right. would spend this much money on fruit? Like, well, for real. That guy. Me. It's a big orange. Is it's it good? so good. Mm -hmm. It's like almost jelly like. Mm -hmm. Here's your $70. You guys are going to love Cheers. it. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Right? Both of them were worth the money. We saved the best for last. God, how much is this one? This one was $1,200. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> Did you hear that slur? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing in this world tastes as good as this. You couldn't even like manufacture something to taste as good. Can I have a slice, please? No, not on this one. Sorry. <laughs> what? You guys are on your own. On no, this no. One. What? Nope, Pierce nope. it. Oh my god. Hey, come back here with that melon. All right, so now it is Andrew's turn. Yes. You have the cheapest 
food. It's 7 Eleven. I feel like I go there all the time. So you have $20 to spend, you can get whatever you want. This is like the nicest 7 Eleven ever. This is like a restaurant. Look how good this looks, actually. The 7 Elevens here have everything you could ever want from manga to candy to freshly baked dumplings that they'll even warm up for you in the back. Can I eat here with him, please? We need candy. We need a lot of candy. I'm gonna say, please. That's definitely more than $20 worth. 4,000 yen. 4,000 like, yen. What, like 40 bucks? I think that's like a little over 20 bucks, but we'll let it slide. So what's the appetizer? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is pork and curry. It doesn't look like half bad. This is freshly made by 7-Eleven themselves. <laughs> You're satisfied with this. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that's honestly like a four. Four out of five, okay. We got sushi. I actually don't know about this one. I'm I mean, sure. they tell you not to eat sushi from gas stations, but we're in Japan. Mmm. He's not dancing on this one. I don't think he doesn't like this one. Let's try the lemon nuggets though. These chicken nuggets were only a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's giving it a try. Let's see. <laughs> Andrew, Drew's eating your mango pop. Well, oh, that's fire. Did you let Drew eat I, that? I or? didn't. He's just grabbing the good stuff. Bro, I'm still hungry. All I have is a sea snack. So these are called boost bites. It's a little monster can. It's a candy that's an energy drink. Drew loves that. Mm, that's just good. It's gonna be a lot of energy. Unless you do, I can run them out right now. I'm honestly glad I got the 7 Eleven food because it's a bunch of choices, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just like one thing. Yeah. Dude, I'm freaking out. Wait, oh, I'm gonna go. I, I need to go. Wait, what? What is he doing? So we chased Drew to the last location, and I was getting kind of anxious because it became pretty obvious what my next meal was gonna be. There's only a couple places that sell this. What are we doing here? Well, you see, we all went, so now it's only fair that you go. It's time for you to suffer. Oh my god. Would you like to see what you're gonna be enjoying tonight? Yeah. Come on over. Fun fact, one out of three people that try this die. Wait, what? No, Can we fact god. check that? I'm gonna be eating these Look guys. How cute he is. He can just kill you in just one bite. Oh, let's just get this over with. So I'm gonna be eating puffer fish. Their organs are toxic and they must be carefully removed to avoid death. Only chefs who have qualified after three or more years of rigorous training are allowed to prepare the fish. That's how serious this is. So we just sat down and let me tell you, there's no one else in this restaurant right now. Everyone else died. <laughs> oh, this is fugu. Oh. Are you sure this is safe? Just Jeez, I just try it. <laughs> Each year, about 150 people are hospitalized from eating the wrong part. Your face will go numb, and then paralysis follows. It was really nice knowing you. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. My mouth is numb. Shut up, shut up. No way you're still chewing. Right, swallow it. Oh my god, dude, that took forever. Oh my god, I think I'm turning into a puffer fish. I did it! Do you want toy? No. Oh. no I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Oh. Drew, come on, try it. I don't want to try it. I'm not gonna risk my life for a little fish. Come on, no, stop. Come on, Drew, try it. Oh, I'm not eating the fish. Try it, Drew. It's not gonna happen. My YouTube channel. So, bad news. Turns out I have a stress fracture in my left leg. So I am walking around in crutches. Well, not really. I don't listen to the doctor. All right, so today I am eating only one colored food for 24 hours. And not just me. I am forcing the Lexis to do it as well. My sister Lexi, as well as Lexi Hensler, one of my best friends. All right, guys, before this video starts, hit that like button, then comment down below and let me know which color you would choose to only eat for 24 hours. I feel like I would do blue, because like blue raspberry stuff is so good. Like blue raspberry candy so good all right here we go Lexi what? Stop. Which one? both both you guys so you guys I have a special day planned for us today oh, no. what do you mean oh no it's a special day and then it's something like horrible <laughs> exactly. so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat one color for an entire 24 hours Nope, nope. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. No, no. Hey, 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 come back here right now. I'll give you each $50 if you do this. Make it 100. Okay, 100 it is. Okay, so basically, what we're gonna do is I have this hat, and this has all the colors in the rainbow in it. What? And whatever color we pick, you have to eat for the whole day. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes so sense. So basically, you cannot eat any other color. I'm scared. I'm like a really picky eater. Yeah, so it's gonna be hard for me. All right, so do you wanna pick first? Okay, look. I don't know how I feel about this. Red. red. Uh, What's like red? All spicy stuff. Spicy stuff. Oh you know? no. Uh oh. This will be interesting. All right, Lexi, you're next. Yeah. Yellow. Oh, I like that's kind of not good. I don't like bananas. I mean, I guess. Ah, hey, 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 that's what you guys My turn. Well, since there's only one left, I mean. Okay, wait, here we go. <laughs> Picking the color. Stop. Green. Okay. 
Okay, let me think of stuff that's green. Um, salad. Asparagus. <laughs> okay, so you guys ready? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is just for aesthetic, we're gonna change into our colors. Yeah. Everyone go change into their color right now. All right, so we are all dressed in our colors now. In case we forget what color we are. All right, Lexi, yeah. you ready? Yes. All right, so first we have breakfast. So I was thinking, guys, we'll go to the grocery store, get a bunch of our colored stuff, and make a smoothie here at home. All right, so I'm pretty hungry, so we're gonna go to the grocery store right now to get supplies for our smoothies. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the excitement, Lexi. <laughs> Whoa, um, um, don't do that. Did you see anything that you like? No. Remember, you're red. Well, think about this. Are apples red inside? Your first item. I got a watermelon. A watermelon, okay, that worked. Lettuce. Turn up the beat. <laughs> all right, so Lexi has all of her stuff for her smoothie. Are you sure that's gonna I mean, like turn out red? Yeah, it's like all red. It might not be good. It doesn't. It'll be all right, Lexi, you got everything? Only three things because I'm making a pina colada. Right, I don't know if that's gonna turn out yellow. Right. Mine's gonna be so healthy, it's gonna be kind of gross, I think. Oh so we got all of our smoothie stuff from the store and we are ready to make our smoothies. You guys ready? Yes. Let's do it. Banana, watermelon, cherry, a little pink lemonade, and a splash of cran cherry. Go for it. Ooh. Oh. Lexi's turn for the smoothie. Lexi, go for it. All right. Frozen pineapple, coconut milk, coconut ice cream. It is time to blend. <laughs> We're literally matching. Ah. All right. Cucumber, green apple, banana, spinach, ice, frozen pineapple, coconut milk. Three, two, one. Blend it! Wow. That is very green. I don't know if I'm looking Ew, forward to this. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready to drink? Are you guys ready? We're ready! Ah! Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I hate that, I hate that, I hate it. Mine. What? <laughs> mine tastes like spinach. No joke, <laughs> mine literally tastes like green spinach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, this is our breakfast, so drink up. I Cheers. Don't like mine. Cheers. Cheers. Let's hey! Oh, whoa, 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 I saw that. I saw that. What? It's so good. What's that? Oh, no, no! What is that? Did you just dump your whole thing? No. So it's about that time for lunch. Are you guys hungry for lunch yet? Or? I'm starving. I'm you didn't drink your smoothie, that's why. So where should we go? Where should we go for lunch? Lemonade. All right. Lemonade has a good, like, it's kind of like a buffet style restaurant. You guys ready for lunch? Lexi, what are you gonna get? I don't see anything that's red. Lexi, yeah. what are you gonna get? I don't know. Ooh, Lexi, what'd you get there? I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I think I'm gonna go for the broccoli. All right, so I got my plate of green things. I also got green lemonade. Lexi has her yellow lemonade. I got soup. And then I'm just gonna eat whatever this red stuff is out of the salad. You know those are peppers, right? <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Well, how does it taste? <laughs> Come on, Greg, come on, give us a break. Green food is super boring. It just tastes so bland, you know? So what do you guys want to do now? We want ice cream. <laughs> that wasn't planned. Guys, do you guys want gelato or like ice cream? I don't know, we're flexible. We're flexible. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. All right, well, gelato it is then. Thank you. All right, so we all got ice cream. That is our color. I got Lucky Charms. I got strawberry. I got lemon custard. Ew. <laughs> Mine's vegan. Ow! She can only eat red. I'm hungry. She's hungry. All right, so we are getting gas right now, and I think it's time for a snack break. The only snack I need is right here. <laughs> Whoa, look at all the snacks. I have four green things. You have a lot of red things. You have a lot of yellow things. I think we're ready to check out. I just got back from the mini mart, and I have all of my green snacks. Oh, Lexi is over here dividing literally all of the Sour Patch Kids. Oh, CD in its finest, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So this is mine, the green. Okay, I'll take the green. Lexi, take the yellow. No, hey, ah, 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 ah. Get that out. Lexi, get that out of her mouth. Get, get it out of her mouth. Out. Hey, get her. So Lexi and I have been wondering where uh, the other Lexi went. Turns out, what is it, Starbucks? Well, this isn't red. Hey, this hey, isn't hey, red. Hey, hey, hey. I knew you were gonna say something like that. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. No, no, you are not allowed to do that. I have a very smart idea. I think we should go get pizza at one of those like build your own pizza. What are we supposed to eat? Marinara? They have all the ingredients out, so you get to pick the color that you are. Let's go get some pizza. Pizza. The rule is everyone can have crust, oh, but then you gosh. just then you have to have the color that you have. I hate this. YouTube videos so much. <laughs> Lexi's just getting cheese on it, right? Guys, look how so just spinach. All right, so we got our pizzas. Yay. So mine is just veggies and bread. Lexi Hensler's is just tomato sauce and pepperoni. It's just red. And then my sister's is just cheese. This is the boringest pizza I've ever eaten in my entire life. Mine is 
tastes like pizza. <laughs> All right, so it is the end of the day. We, Thank the Lord. We are stuck, which means that the challenge <laughs> is over. Yeah! Finally. Yeah! I am so hungry right now. You guys are a little too excited. I am just so glad this challenge is over. I'm, I'm